everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness and in today's video, we are building a really cute rustic bakery and cafe. It features two dining areas, one that is outside and one is inside. I'm really excited to show you all the process of it, so let's get right into it. If you do indeed enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up to support the channel and subscribe to join our family because we would love to have you. Alright, let's get into it. Enjoy the video. So first things first, I'd like to clarify because I've received a lot of comments of people asking me why I can customize so quickly. I'm on Harv's Island. Most of my interiors are on Harv's Island just because it's easier for me to utilize the vast I guess choices of furniture and variations because you can customize them to any color and variation that you would like on Harv's Island and everything that is in your catalog is already there as well. So I really love coming here and just sort of exploring the options and seeing what I would want in an area, kind of playing around with different color palettes and different items before I actually go ahead and order the items for my island to build on the actual area. I find that this is a lot easier for me because then I can test different things out without having to order a billion things at once. And I also really like building interiors. I think that it's really fun, but also I wanted to say that this can easily be an exterior too. I mean, realistically, Animal Crossing islands are just areas with no walls. So I just, I really like building it here. But I can totally see this, any of this, um, I guess the space being used outside as well. So I just wanted to kind of say that. As for a really random comment, but it sort of pertains to this area, how amazing does bread smell? And I don't mean like bread that you get at a supermarket or a grocery store, I mean like bread that is freshly baked and you walk by a bakery and that smell just surrounds the area and it just goes up your nose and it's amazing and it smells divine. I recently passed by a bakery in the city where I live and I smelled the most fresh and amazing baked bread ever and that sort of inspired this. And also the cafe. The, at least the outdoor side of it um, that was really inspired by a really cute restaurant I went to recently with my parents so yeah I just I really really love this and I love the way that it turned out I think it's super cute and I really hope you guys like it too I'm going to leave you alone to enjoy the music now don't forget to say hi and tell me how your day or your week is going in the comments below and we'll be in touch there So I figured I'd actually come in and explain a couple of things. I put those simple panels in the front 
by the I guess cash register because I thought that they would look like display cases of freshly baked bread so I really like that concept which is why I utilized the simple panels in the front and then in the back of course those are just more display cases but I just really wanted to give this main room that bakery sort of concept and aesthetic and then on the side rooms we'd have an outdoor patio and then one that's more like indoors and very like cozy and good for like the winter seasons I guess so those are my thought processes during this build I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and sort of like rustic and traditional so I used items that I thought would achieve that appearance so yeah So this is kind of an additional comment to what I said in the beginning of the video that these can be exterior builds as well because imagine how cute a little outdoor cafe would look with these garden chairs and garden tables and any of the garden furniture especially in this oak variation is so pretty and I just really love I guess I know that this is an interior build, but it sort of gives you an idea of what you can put on the tables. So this is again an additional comment. I really love testing out what I can place on top of tables. So like if I were to place a flower in a vase or maybe some pastries or just some plants and greenery, whatever it is, I think it's really lovely to see it before you go ahead and order it from the Nook catalog. So this is a really nice way to do it without having to go through the hassle of it. Nevertheless, I really enjoy seeing the little details on the table. I don't know what it is about it, I just really love seeing little details in games. And especially when they are food. So like, 
The Berliners are so stinking cute. The cinnamon roll tray um, and then just like the tea sets and everything. But yeah, I absolutely adore building these areas where my villagers can sit. So these areas are perfect to include in my island as an exterior build. So right now I'm just building a sort of like your outdoor patio extension of the bakery and cafe. So yeah, we're almost done and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. And we're finished! Thank you so much for stopping by today and spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed the speed build as much as I enjoyed making it. It was really fun and I grabbed a lot of inspiration from real life places I've been to so I think that it is very cute and nostalgic. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!